Uh, and so it's it's a lot of card draw that you can be getting through with. Oh, now I gotta edit your cracky voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>so magical to me you started the commander smiths with me can't you see this is everything i've hoped for and that's everything i need you are the commander smiths with me that is beautiful <laughs> Okay, so I can get I can get the the song name, but I can't yeah. get who. Uh, of course, you are so beautiful. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, don't know who sings that though. It would be Joe Cocker. Uh, yeah, the Cocker, the Cockman himself. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's nice. so beautiful to him when your last name is like that. <laughs> Very nice. Well, welcome to uh, Commander Smith's. Adam's I am blushing. No, <laughs> it was like you were serenading me. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> I am Adam Smith. Uh, I'm Lowry Smith. Cousins? Of course. Sure. All right. No, we're still of course. Every today. time. Every right. time. Yeah. And we are at episode number 15. I believe so. 15. It's congratulations to you. <laughs> each time we're going to con- congratulate each other yeah. on this. Well, we made it to the next week. <laughs> I can't believe we did this. Um, Again. We are. We worked for about, what, an hour trying to make sure we didn't have an echo? Yeah, because we're, we're we, really sensitive to that. We uh, want to get rid of that. It's ridiculous. So, I, so I'm hoping right now you're listening. There's no echo. Um, but again, yeah, we worked on it for an hour. The settings aren't consistent. And yeah. for some reason, sometimes there's an echo. Sometimes there's not. Yeah. Uh, One of these days, we're going to get it figured out. I thought we got it last week. We got the Echo gone last week, and we wrote – did we write down the settings? We did, we, for the most yeah, part, yeah. And then we put it in here, pull up everything, and then it's it echoes there again. We're like, damn it! So, <laughs> yeah. Damn you, Scuba Steve! Thank you for sticking with us uh, through this, and uh, we'll we'll keep on trying to put out the best product that we can. Yeah, so you can catch us on Twitter at Commander Smiths. Um, and then you can email us at commandersmiths at gmail.com. And then subscribe or like us on YouTube. You could do yeah. that as well, because our we're, podcasts we're, go on there uh, as well. We're going to talk a lot about uh, Battle Bond Spoil because they released the entire thing this week yeah so it completely then, changed our plan well yeah. we kind of knew that this was gonna happen we didn't realize they were gonna do the entire set this yeah generally week. it's spread out over a week or two, two or weeks. three because yeah. it's not being actually sold in two more weeks yeah so but this set is so freaking sweet it's gonna be really awesome for commander it, it, do you get this vibe i was thinking about it today um the subsets you know the sets in between each of the main sets i feel like they're like really commander driven and Doesn't they should it be. It's one, like of, one of the largest, uh, you know. They're set. Like, they're, they're. It's a large community out there that plays Commander. So, why not cater to somebody that's going to spend a bunch of money on newer cards? Yeah. And so, it just every. I'm almost like more drawn to the subsets than the actual sets. Because <laughs> it's like, they're freaking sweet. So. Uh, but yeah, we're we're just in two segments today because of the we, we want to go over segment. all the sweet new cards. <laughs> yeah, and we may even have a Pete on Commander. Oh, we yeah yeah we'll we got Pete on Commanders. <laughs> we peed all over these Commanders, so we're gonna be building new decks. Sopping wet, <laughs> and Death. we'll let you know which Commanders we actually they'll be right away. We're gonna be uh, we'll, we'll probably those. talk about it. Yeah, uh, and then our segment two will be on. S- Smith specs oh. of the week. Oh, that's so low key. <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to be a little bit more excited. Hear that it's like a whisper yeah, on there. <laughs> what? What it's did he like say? A, is it Smith specs. It's a brown whisper. <laughs> a brown <laughs> whisper. Yeah, that's a fart. Uh, that was, <laughs> I was thinking that's what it was meant, but I was like, did he really mean to talk about a fart? Yeah. All right, brown whisper. <laughs> uh so yeah um that's pretty much our stuff for this week so let's just jump right into it should we start with um the planeswalkers well should we talk about what battle bond is okay. kind of a little bit we we did mention it last week on our podcast uh so bottle battle bond is a new set that they're releasing and it is a draft format for two-headed giant which is uh you and a teammate are playing a game against two other people yeah. which is two-headed giant um, and you're kind of able to pull your resources in a draft, and you're both picking from each other's cards and making the best deck possible out of it. Um, so and this the, is just kind of like 
enhancing that experience because it's geared towards yeah. two headed giant. So some of the things that they are introducing in this, well, they're reintroducing partner commanders, which is pretty sweet. They're a little bit different than when it was released uh, two sets ago in the commander. In two the four set. color, yeah, yeah, four color commanders. Um, those you could partner with anything that said partner. These are specific to the partner. And actually, of what I've pretty much know with it it's if you open one you're getting the other one in your pack. that's what i was understanding as yeah. well so, which is really sweet that'd be yeah. awesome to pull like two rares yeah <laughs> or two mythics or, or two mythics yeah. yeah which that's pretty sweet with that um and then there's a couple other abilities that they are introducing into this what's uh is it assist assist is one of them that i'm not super happy about and, and so that's going to be interesting how do you think that's going to play in commander because in commander because you're going to go okay i want to play this card who's going to help me so, out you know so what assist if, is essentially it's an over costed car yeah. <laughs> and but then it can be ridiculously then, cheap like yeah cost and so you somebody uh counter spell we'll, we'll get to it but yeah. like if it has like six generic mana somebody else can help cast you that or ha help you cast that spell so um, that's where i'm kind of curious is how that's going to work in commander because what if you don't have enough mana to spend to cast it? And then you go, okay, who wants to help me out to kill this? And or... then crickets. Yeah. <laughs> so then you just reveal the card in your hand that everybody knows you have. So and they're like, well. Oh. No. <laughs> but, you know, so I think that mechanic's going to be a little tricky with Commander, I guess. Um, I, I think it's going to be f uh, really fun in a more casual setting. Yeah. Um, I think in our play group, it's going to be a lot tougher to play with because, like, I've played decks where I'm giving people creatures, and they're like, well, I'm going to attack you with these creatures. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not going to no, give I'm you, giving... and then I'll give it to you. And then I'll attack you as well. <laughs> yeah, it's just like I just – I'm giving ammo to people when it feels like this style of play. So I generally avoid it, um, and I feel like a lot of the cards are a little overcosted for my taste. Yeah. So – Well, if you can get somebody to partner with it, it can really – be a really cheap yeah. spell. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy with that. And I think that's pretty much it for the, the new mechanics, right? I don't think there was anything else. Other I mean, than we'll the partner. Through. Yeah, the partner stuff. Yeah. So why don't we jump right into it, uh, the first two. You want to start that off, Larry? Yeah. I'll, uh, so the first one, uh, we're starting off with the big bad boys. Uh, Mythic Planeswalker, Will Kenrith, uh, four colorless, two blue. Uh, and then he's a Planeswalker, Will. William, it should be. Uh, so I hate that. <laughs> By the way. That's, I. That's my pet peeve. What is that? When people name their kids a certain name and then they don't call them that name because they shortened it up or whatever. Why so didn't you why, just call him Will? Yeah, it, that should be his name instead of William. You know. But so yeah. like my kids, Zeke is. That's one of my son's name. He's not Ezekiel. He's Zeke. You know. Yeah, we Purposely yeah, didn't do that. Like my brother's name is Nicholas, but no one calls him Nicholas unless so he's he in trouble. So he should have been called Nick. Oh, unless, unless he's, he's in, trouble, in trouble, then it's Nicholas! <laughs> Anyways, keep going. Sorry. I just so, had to interrupt because you did the William thing and I was like, ah. Mm. <laughs> Adamus. Uh, plus two. Uh, until your next turn, up to two target creatures each have base power and toughness, O3, and lose all abilities. Uh, you can minus two William. Uh, <laughs> you're such a douche. <laughs> target player, William. so minus two. It sounds like you're actually getting him in trouble, Target player too. draws two cards. Until your next turn, instant sorcery and planeswalker spells that player costs, or cast cost two less to cast. There's a lot of words to read with this I one. I know, it's kind of a block <laughs> of text. Yeah. And then you can minus eight it. Target player gets an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for that copy. Um, a little bit more wordage. You get to partner this with Rowan Kenrith. I can read that one for you. Yeah, and then you'll yeah I, and then also Will Kenrith can be your commander. So then Rowan Kenrith is four, four and two red. Uh, red of course it's red commander comes in with four loyalty. The plus two is during target player's next turn. Each creature that player controls attacks if able. The minus two, so you basically set them up. You make them attack, and then your next turn, you minus two it. Do three damage to each tap creature target player controls. And then the ultimate is target player gets the emblem. Whenever you activate an ability that isn't a mono ability, copy it. You may choose new targets for that copy. It says the same thing on the bottom, except talking about William. Will. <laughs> Will. Yeah. Will Kenrith. Yeah. So, uh... That's, it's pretty sweet. So you, these can both be your commanders yep. partnered as planeswalkers. 
that's a sweet idea. Yeah, I love it. I like it a lot. And the cool thing about this art with all of these that are partner is you see both characters in the picture. So it's like from their vantage point. So you see the other ones back in this one and then, you know, vice versa when yeah, you're looking at their character. So and they did this with all of those partners, which I thought I, was really cool. I don't really think I cool. even know. I noticed that with the Planeswalkers, but I don't. Yeah, every yeah. single one has the partner oh, in there. Yeah, I see it now. Even my peed on commanders oh, that I want to use. I like it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't like you peeing. That's gross. <laughs> but uh, and the nice thing about these two are just all of the partners are like they work together, but they're different. Yeah. And so uh, if you're able to. Oh, you know what? I just realized that these partners don't do what the other partners do where you get to go search for yeah them. yeah so the other partners that are creatures get to go search for the creature they're partnered with these planeswalkers don't necessarily go and do that yeah not necessarily important if you're having them both be your commanders though yeah so. exactly and i we won't read that part with the other ones i guess we don't have to go into detail but all the other ones that are creatures when you play the creature you get to go through your deck and then put it into your hand that other creature yeah so uh, why don't we go into, I, I, I think you need to go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm peeing on either the, the planeswalkers or these ones. Oh, so, no, that's what I was saying. These ones. That, yeah. That's so right. I, I thought that this is the ones that we haven't really about. decided. I think they're really, I think Larry, Larry's, he's kind of tinkling on each. So just oh, a little bit of pee. He well, hasn't really, I, I got some aim. <laughs> you I'll just the like, load well, yet. maybe it's just Wait, like a sprinkler really system gross. going on. A load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't do that on command. That's, That's a whole different segment with so, a load dropping. Anyways, go ahead. Uh, so there's uh, Regna the Redeemer, which is five colorless and a white. Uh, you partner with Crab the Unredeemed. Uh, it has flying at the beginning of each end step. Uh, if your team gain life this turn, create or create two one one white warrior creature tokens, and it's a four four. And then Crab does what? Crab the Unredeemed is four colorless and a black, and you partner with Regna the Redeemer, uh, and then you can pay one black, sacrifice X creatures. Target player draws X cards and gains X life. That's pretty cool. And then that. you get to put X one one counters on Crab the Unredeemed, <laughs> and it starts crazy. out as a three three. Yeah, that's pretty crazy because you know a lot of times with black they'll do the whole pay X life and draw cards, where this yeah. is you're gaining that life. Because you're you're it's paying the creatures. Yeah. Yeah, but so like, you're sacked. But you know, a lot of times when you're drawing cards, they're making you also lose life with it. But mm -hmm. yeah, like you're saying that you're and this is gaining of, life, and it works with Regna, where you're going to be able to at least and all that uh, gain stuff. the two two warriors, which allows you to sacrifice two more and then yeah. draw two more cards, gain two more life, and do it over this, and over. This is going to be pretty sick. I like that. And because Regna is each end step, so, so which so you one can do it? Which one do you want to relieve your bladder on? <laughs> I gotta, the, I gotta do it right now. The, we'll the hard do, we'll part is Regna it, it kind of depends. It, it depends on what you also draw. I mean, if, in the box, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna you do don't go the dueling the whole, boxes on this. The planeswalker money and get those because you know those are gonna be what 15, 20 bucks at least or, a piece. at the starting point. Yeah. yeah. So that's people are excited. Yeah. So then we move in now. I ain't gonna have to read these guys. I want to yeah. just read the second part. Good of Good luck. <laughs> yeah. What, how would you even say the the dude's name? I'd Zind, call it Zind, Zind, Zind Splint? Zinder Splint. So it's a harmonic kill us, but it's I'd call it Zender Split. Zender? There's not yeah. even Zender. Yeah, yeah. There's not they even they don't e. have like full words, but it's like uh, Mesospix from like <laughs> Superman. <laughs> we'll, we'll just call him Eye of Wisdom. Uh, it's. <laughs> It's Cheater. Four colorless and a blue and legendary Hemoculus. Partner with Eye of Chaos. What's his name though? Akum. 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 Uh, what this one does? It's a one-four, so he's pretty small. But the cool thing in this picture as well, you see him. He's sitting he's on, on his the, shoulder. The yeah. Cyclops. Yeah. Uh, so at the beginning of each, at the beginning of your combat. Uh, flip a coin until you lose or lose a flip. Lose a flip. Yeah, until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins the coin flip, draw a card. So it doesn't even have to be you. It's whenever any player wins a coin flip, you, you get draw to draw a card. a card. Then he partners with uh, the Eye of Chaos. He's four and a red. Um, what he does. At the beginning of your combat, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever you win a flip, you double his power and toughness. So this this is my pee on stuff this is what i'm peeing on because <laughs> yeah it makes sense i, I have mean... a, i already have a couple of the the coin stuff that i bought actually it was when unstable was coming out 
So I bought oh. a bunch of that stuff because they unbanned some of that uh, stuff uh, and all the unstable, the un all the unsets for a couple months there. So I was like, oh yeah, people are gonna be buying this up and blah blah blah. They didn't. But now, now they, they are. are. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, oh, that was a accidental goodbye, Adam. <laughs> yeah. So a bunch of uh, flip coin cards have gone up. Go through, first... see if you got them. If not. These a lot like of the them are expensive. First commanders that are going to deal with it, that you can deal like actually be good with flipping coins. Yeah, and so they they both flip a coin. So if you have them both out, you, and if you win like one flip, you double the cyclops power, six, six at least. and you draw a card. Yeah, and then you're doing it again. You know, like you you could potentially get these guys really big, and then or draw a bunch of cards. Yeah. If you're able to get other people to flip coins as well, you know, you're drawing cards and doubling his stuff, and it just could yeah. be pretty crazy. It, it seems like it's going to be chaotic. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll apologize for that. <laughs> All right, why don't you move into the next two pairs? This is You like these guys, too. I do these like are these ones, sweet. too. Um, so... Uh, Virtus the Veiled is two colorless, one black legendary creature. You partner with Gorm the Great. It's a 1 1 death touch. And then whenever Virtus the Veiled deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. Um, and then Gorm the Great is three colorless and a green. Partner with Virtus. It's a 2 7 vigilance. Gorm the Great must be blocked if able, and Gorm must be blocked by two or more creatures if able. That's pretty sweet. And so, like, I've wanted a Virtus the Veiled, like, commander for a long time, because I like kind of throwing in um, some of those equipment that Half-Live, like, yeah. just off of a hit. Yeah. And so this puts everything on theme with that. And then Gorm is awesome in Doran. I want him. I want it in Doran. Uh, because he turned, he's a seven be a seven, seven for two four basically, with, <laughs> or seven seven yeah. with vigilance, and if you're gonna block it, has to be it's gonna kill two creatures. Yeah. So it, it and this seems picture, really powerful. The, the art of this is pretty sweet too, because it's like Gorm's protecting him. Oh yeah, yeah. A, with his little arm shields or whatever he has there. Well, he is, uh, you know, a big ass two a, seven. A big ass. Yeah. I wasn't talking about. So him, I'm but. excited. <laughs> I, I like those ones. I like really all the partner commanders. Yeah, they're all pretty sweet until you get into the uncommon ones. So yeah. we're actually not going to talk about those as much. We're just sticking with the rare stuff, and then got a couple uncommons we'll talk about in this set. Uh, then we move into the red and white. Well, they're one's red, one's red, white. So these are partner commanders. All right, here we go, Adam. Cor Corvath. Corvath. Bright flame. It is five five colors and a red legendary creature dragon. Yes. Dragons. <laughs> it partners with uh, s saliva. <laughs> I'd, saliva. I'd say Sylvia, Sylvia. which is a real <laughs> name. Saliva. <laughs> The band? What is the song Saliva it, sings? Yeah, is this uh, one that you drooled on or what? <laughs> it is a chick. I think maybe. it's Sylvia Bright Spirit. No, that's gross. <laughs> keep, keep it to yourself. This is the drooled on commander. Well, at least I'm not blowing the load on it. <laughs> Anyways, so it's a 3 4 dragon, so it's a little underpowered for as much as it costs to come out five. You know, it's six mana. Flying Haste. Uh, whenever or knights your team control have flying and haste as well, so this kind of goes well with knights. And you go with the other commander, two and two colorless and one white, and is a human knight. Uh, she has double strike and is a two two. Dragons your team control have double strike. So yeah, that three four is actually more like a six four with yeah. the double strike i think uh i think they're a pretty good pairing i think they're a little bit more underpowered than the ones yeah. that we've talked about at this point agreed um other than maybe a 50 50 chance of the uh coin flip one being powerful or not like it can be really good and then yeah. it can just be garbage really crap yeah there's some there's some cool flip coin stuff and then there's some really bad ones <laughs> Uh, and the then next two are I really like. This well, was we, my, we talked about yeah. them last week. So oh, yeah, there's Per right. the Imaginative Rascal and Toothy the Imaginary skip. Fiend. Go and check out last week's episode. We talked about them a little bit, but it deals with drawing cool. cards and putting counters on them, double counters and stuff. It's kind of like almost like a doubling season in a way. Speaking of, should we just hit up that since we said it? Reprint of no. a doubling season in this. Keep set? it a secret until later. Until we get to green. <laughs> Um, was well, there anybody else we want to talk about with the I partner think that's stuff? it for the partners. Uh, we do. Now we start to move into kind of 
the mythics and rares of not partner stuff. Uh, so let's hit up this mythic one. Yeah, Arena Rector. This one's pretty. Got sick. me really excited. Yeah, uh, you it's, got excited in your pants. Yeah, uh, three colorless and a white uh, human cleric one two. Uh, when Arena Rector dies, you may exile it. If you do, search your library for a Planeswalker card, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Um, so this is basically Academy Rector that's for enchantments, yeah. but this is for Planeswalkers. Yeah, and that's sweet. It just goes right into play. Yeah, that's... and it works really well. One little thing, though, is that it actually can be responded to, the exile trigger. And so if somebody has Graveyard Hate and this goes to the graveyard, they can get rid of it before, before. the exile trigger happens and then you don't have it actually work. Yeah. So that, that can potentially the happen. all of it a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, that's rare. Not rare, but... Yeah, or if somebody has, uh, you know, all, all cards are removed from the graveyards, it's not going to trigger. Like yeah. it, so be a little careful, but corner case. Uh, next, we'll go into our next Ling, our latest in our Ling collection. It's Bright Ling, and it's yeah. one colorless and two white. It is a 3-3. Three, three. You can tap one until end of turn. Oh, it's a shapeshifter, by the way. Uh, until end of turn, it gains vigilance, or you can tap one until end of turn, it gains lifelink, or you can tap one. And these are white, white. by the way. Yeah, Sorry. one white. Uh, and you can tap one white, and you can return it to your hand. Or you can tap one colorless and give it either plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one until end of turn. So, so it's our ling. Yeah, and this is in a long line of lings. lings. So there's morphling, torchling, aetherling, thornling. I think that's all of the lings. And now there's brightling. I don't know if this is good or not. It seems pretty aggressively costed, and I kind of like it. Um, it kind of reminds me of Still Moon Cavalier, which is hybrid black white, and then like two two, you can pay a black or a white. Oh yeah, it it's fly that one or... that looks like the headless horseman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so it reminds me of that one a little bit, and I don't think that one's good enough for Commander. So I'm probably saying no to this one as well. Yeah. Uh, do we want to move into our exile of the set? We we can do that. This is I didn't. We can do that. We can do that. <laughs> I think it's actually pretty sweet because the thing is, this is one thing we can talk about with assist is you can get people to be like, oh crap, blah 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 has yeah. taken off. We need to get rid of all our stuff. Can you help? And and, they, and it can happen a lot earlier. So this one is play of the game, uh, six colorless, two white, and it has assist, which is another player can pay up to six colorless of the spell's cost. And then uh, exile all non-land permanents. And so you could be doing this with somebody else on turn four. Yeah. If everybody, you know, if you have four mana, they have four mana, and you and somebody somehow is about to combo off, you're like, hey. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, hey buddy, you want to help me out? We can get rid of all this ish. And then hey. kind of do it. Yeah. What is that? Uh, Happy, Happy days. days. Yeah. Hey. The fonts. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Uh, so uh, that's I, I what think it's pretty is. decent. I, I mean, it, it's I don't know if I'll put it in a deck, but it yeah, with eight, exiling, eight is a lot. But if you're getting somebody to help you out with ever, somebody's going crazy. That's the part I kind of like about it because it could sure. be two <laughs> or it could be four. It I'm could, normally you know, the person that's going crazy, so yeah, I, I don't, you don't really like want to play. Yeah, <laughs> way to brag yourself up, Larry. Your head's getting so big in here. No, it's uh, then we go into Red Regna's Sanction. Uh, three and one. It's a sorcery for each player. Choose. I like these. Three these, and one white. Yep. Uh, these I really like. I do like choosing them as well. people. You can be like, hey, if you don't attack me for the next couple turns, I'll give. I'll choose friend. But you choose friend or foe with this. Each friend puts a one-one counter on each creature they control. Each foe chooses uh, one untapped creature they control and then taps the rest. So. I mean, this one isn't as brutal as some of the other ones, but I like the whole friend and foe thing with Commander doing this kind of thing. Yeah, where... it can be really... Well, it can really, like, if, if it's turning into two-on-one where somebody's getting out really powerful, you can help out everybody around you just by going, like, well, I need your help, so you're going to get the one-one counters, and we're both going to attack this person and tap down all their creatures. That that can be a huge swing. Yeah. So I, I like it a lot. Uh, do we move into... I like uh, Together Forever. Okay, I wasn't sure if we yeah. wanted to talk about it or not. So, uh, Together Forever is too white uh, for an enchantment. Uh, when Together Forever enters the battlefield, support two, which is put a 1-1 counter on each of up to two target creatures. 
uh, and then you can tap one colorless, choose target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Uh, so I feel like it's really nice. Like it's it's kind of card advantage a little bit where you're like, oh, somebody's board wiping. I'm going to return that and that back to my yeah. hand. Um, you got to make sure they have counters on it, though. Sure. But you're able to split up the counters. So yeah. Uh, you can even put those counters on somebody else's and it, the, I guess the, creatures. The interesting thing is it doesn't have to have necessarily a one plus one counter. It Any just has counter. to have a counter on yep. it. So, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know how we'll work this in, but I think it it is a good way to protect your stuff, like you said, from board wipes and stuff. The next one I'm super excited about. I think this one's pretty sweet. Arcane Artisan. Uh, it's two and one blue. Human Wizard. You tap two and one blue. It's on 03, by the way. Uh, tap two and one blue. Tap it. Target player draws a card, then exiles a card from their hand. If it if a creature card is exiled this way, that player creates a token that's a copy of that card. When this leaves a play, exile all tokens uh, at the beginning of the next end step. So they don't leave right away. No, yeah, end of they actually end step. Stay at the until the end of the next end step. But man, this is a good way to get some stuff that costs way too much for you to be able to play just out on the battlefield. True, and it, I mean it gets you a bit of card advantage. It's putting out a huge creature potentially. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's not, seems the, it's really not the card cool. that you draw that you have to do it with. It could be a, just you know the card that's already in your hand, which is yep. pretty sweet. So. And so this is kind of a delayed trigger. I'm wondering if you can um, stop that as well. What do you mean? So like, um, so like a trick bind or a stifle? I wonder if that works. I'm just starting to think about that right now. So I don't know if that would actually work if you would counter the the uh, ability the ability of removing the tokens at the end of the step. Oh, so they actually stay is what you're trying to figure out. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I, I don't know about that one. If you if that. you know, uh, tweet us yeah. or email us. I'd uh, probably tweet tweet or us. Yeah, then we can cool. uh, respond to you on there as well. Yeah. Um, I actually, I want to talk about Fumble. Yeah, that is an interesting one. I, do. I think it's kind of corner case, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, so Fumble is an instant. It's colorless and a blue. Uh, target creature, uh, return target creature to its owner's hand. Gain control of all auras and equipment that were attached to it. Then attach them to another creature. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so I think that's really cool, yeah. especially if you're going up against like bruna light of alabaster yeah like the one that you put a ton of uh equipment on it she'll probably steal it the next turn anyway yeah um but like the one that the one that it wouldn't work with is your you know most people have the uh lightning greaves because you're not gonna be able to target it but true i mean you want to work around that i i i use lighthouse or arcane lighthouse a lot which allows you to get through hexproof and shroud so um, I, I think it just kind of seems pretty cool. Yeah, that's I, well, yeah, that's one that we both went back and forth. I was like, this is a pretty sweet, just stealing people's equipment yeah, and all that. It crap. seems pretty it's cool, pretty sweet. Uh, next on the list is game plan. Um, this is another assist card. So actually, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's five and one blue. It's a sorcery. Uh, so your assist people can pay for the colors parts so for the five, but then it's it's wheel of fortune. Each player shuffles oh it's shuffles no no, hand. no yeah it doesn't even dr- put in this is time st- or a uh, time twister yeah each player shuffles his or her hand into their library then draw seven cards exile game plan so that's if yeah. you could get people to chip in on this like hey you don't have many cards in your hand or no I cards don't. let's let's draw seven yeah so th- i think that's gonna be a pretty sweet card in commander yeah I, and that was probably the only assist card where i was like oh that's awesome the only one really yeah, I don't like a lot of the other assist ones. Son of a bee. Uh, I think we only have one more for blue. That's, do we? Yeah, that's uh, Spell Seeker. Yes, we do have that one. Do you want me to read that one or you got it? Uh, I got it. <laughs> uh, Dar, Dar. Dar. Well, I think the Zender Splits Judgment we should talk about too. Well, go ahead, go uh, for that spell, one. Spell Seeker. You, <laughs> uh, spell Seeker is two colorless and a blue. A uh, one one human wizard. That's about it. That's yeah, super sweet. So, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so uh, <laughs> when Spellseeker enters the battlefield, uh, you may search your library for an instant or sorcery card with convert a mana cost two or less, or reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. That's really awesome. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, be... just going and searching for uh, instant or sorcery and putting it into your hand. Um, you could tutor four tutors. That's awesome. <laughs> 
All about the tutors. Tutor. Uh, so how did you say this one? Zender split? Yeah, Zender split. All right, I guess. It's just so weird because it doesn't have any of the vowels or anything. Yeah, well, it's like texting. Get yeah. hip with the kids. They don't use... <laughs> Damn you, kids. Yeah, it's like a license plate on the car where they're trying to spell something and they can't... It's like those little meme things that you see on Facebook where it's like, only 1% of the population can figure <laughs> this one out. And it's like, really? Everybody can figure this one well, out. I don't know. This like, worked. I read it. You couldn't. <laughs> well, because I'm actually trying to pronounce it and there's no vowels and well they're whatever anyways <laughs> whatever zender split splits judgment it's four and a blue sorcery for each player choose friend or foe love this yeah each friend creates a token that's a copy of a creature they control so any creature you just are cloning it are making a copy whatever each foe returns a creature they control to its owner's hand so that's pretty sweet to I like the Again, friend and foe it, stuff. It's, yeah, it, I like it a lot because you really can make politics, and that's what we're starting to do more of with how we're playing is do a little bit more politics, backstabbing. But it, but it just feels like uh, it feels <laughs> you're not like, getting any. What? You're always going to be a. I'm foe. already really good at this <laughs> you're, backstabbing you're, stuff. Yeah, that's why you're always going to be a foe. <laughs> but this this feels like you know if you're if you're facing three other players, all you have to do it's five mana. You get to make a copy of a creature you have and then return one creature. Of for each opponent that you have yeah that's that's, pretty... that's the bare bones easiest best thing you can do well, and then a... if you want to gang up on somebody you can have them copy your typical the clone the clone the yeah. starter is four mana so this is one more and you're bouncing yeah most, everybody most clones are at four mana yeah. and then you know it's one more yeah yeah that's worth totally it for worth all that it. bonus you get two things basically with it or you can make politics and gang up on somebody <laughs> Gang bang on somebody. No. <laughs> no. No gang banging. Uh, so on to black cards now. Uh, Archfiend of Despair. Uh, this is six mana and two black. It's mythic. Six, six flying. Your opponents can't gain life. And at the beginning of each end step, each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost this turn. <laughs> that seems so awesome, and I yeah. wish it was a legend. Yeah, but he is, is not. Pretty crazy. Each opponent loses life equal to the life that player lost that turn. That's crazy. So it's hitting everybody. Everybody but you. But and it's doubling. Hitting, so it's one opponent's losing double that turn because it's hitting them again right am i reading that right it's each opponent each opponent each loses step. yeah but so, so like you hit somebody for five at the beginning of each end step so it has to be that opponent has to lose life that turn sure, yeah but then let's say somehow you're able to do surround damage five damage to somebody during if their you just turn earthquakes yeah that's a, but during their turn because it has it can't happen during your no, turn every upkeep every or every end step each player at the beginning of each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life that, that player, player lost. lost. Oh, so if you, okay. So I was reading it wrong. I was thinking yeah. that they had to be damaged on their turn for it to happen. No, but yeah. You so can it's do it. each each end step. It checks to see who, who lost got life. damage, and then and if you lost life, you take that life again. Okay. So, but then it doesn't spread it out amongst everybody. Then, right? It's just how much life they yeah, each yeah. lost. Yeah. So that's how I was. So thinking if you it was attack like, three other three players with three different creatures, like a two two, a three three, and a four four, and you got through with all of them, the two damage deals that person. Yep. So they take four, six, and eight damage. Yeah. So how my mind was doing it was like all you had to do was have one player take the damage on everybody. their turn, and then at the end of the turn, everybody loses the life. So it was like a Hydra on the board or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, just like that's freaking crazy. It's still freaking crazy. It's still a really it's good a card. Really yeah. good card. Uh, so we're what's our next one that we want to talk about? I kind of want to talk about that one. Okay, yeah, I do like that one as well. So it's Inner Demon. Yeah, this one I like a lot. It is two and two black enchant creature. Enchant creature gets two plus two flying and is a deep in it. Uh, excuse me, a demon it's in a addition. D. <laughs> it's a D, just a huge flying D. <laughs> uh, it's it is a demon in addition to his other types. When Inner Demon enters the battlefield, all non-demon creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. So that's a pretty good token board wipe. Yeah, yeah. And it, keeping yourself alive. It, uh, and it just uh, gives your guy... It's it's a small wrath, and it gives your guy evasion, gives him a boost. Uh, it seems really powerful for four mana. It does a lot of stuff. And that's an uncommon, which is pretty nice, too. Yeah, it's uncommon. Uh, probably the next one, Mind, Bla uh, Mind Blade Render. You want to go into that one? Uh, Again, I didn't actually read this one. 
because uh, it looks like a common. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it looks weak as shit. <laughs> uh, uh, the picture sucks. All right. Wait, well, you don't like her nice little render. purple fingernails? No. I mean, I'm wow. sure she went and worked really hard on that. <laughs> I did like a, instead you of did. like a cat hiss, I did into a, like a, a cat purr. <laughs> <laughs> She's weak as shit. Uh, Mind Blade Render, uh, colorless and a black, uh, one three warrior. Uh, whenever your opponents are dealt combat damage, if any of that damage was dealt by a warrior, you draw a card and you lose one life. What are you talking about? This is the card that you really loved. Yeah, this one's kind of good. <laughs> I was like, I just didn't. I don't think I remember reading it. I thought I, I thought it was like a repent common. Yeah, no, that's because because it kind of looks like Liliana doing it does, something. With sweet so I was like, this looks like. Uh, like last kiss or something which probably isn't even a card <laughs> this kiss this kiss so no this is this is a solid card for warrior uh tribal and that's what you're liking is the wire warriors <laughs> have you ever even seen that movie yes i have oh, yeah. come out and play yay not as good as people think all right uh <laughs> next uh card is a mythic was that a shot at me because of how am i singing or you're just saying the movie isn't as good no the movie isn't yeah, as good okay <laughs> i was like i'm not that mean <laughs> just straight stare at you <laughs> You're awful at singing <laughs> and talking. Damn it, I've been singing for like <laughs> half these episodes. Uh, so it's three and one black. I think I said the name right. Stunning Sunny reversal. reversal. Instant. The next time Jinx. you would lose the game this turn, instead draw seven cards and your life total becomes one. Exile, stunning reversal. So the interesting thing is, does this work where, okay, somehow you're about to die from them attacking. Mm -hmm. And then you play this card because you're about to go down to one. You go to one. And then somebody does like something that gets your life past one. Does it, wouldn't it kill you then at that point? Yeah, it would kill yeah. you. So it's only the first time, so it won't save you for the whole turn. But yeah. So like, if you're gonna die in first strike damage, and then you play this, you're gonna die to second, second. <laughs> to the second, uh, That's good I, second normal damage, second. the second strike damage. <laughs> what is it? Last strike. Last I really <laughs> want them to use that from unstable. <laughs> really slow but zombie. this one this one seems really cool I, I like the i got you i didn't lose cards yeah but i think this is gonna be one of the cheaper of the mythics of all the ones that they have on here i can see that yeah uh, uh the next I, one oh i really love this i think one. we both love really like this, this one. one too uh thrilling encore which is four colorless and a black uh it's an instant uh put onto the battlefield under your control all creature cards and all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn yeah that's pretty sick if you could get it Either because it, it's an instant and you could play it when somebody else does a board wipe or when we were talking before this, if you're able to, if you have the mana board, for it. Board wipe and you, then cast and then this and then just take everybody's creatures. Thank you. That thank seems really you, cool. It's like a, a permanent insurrection if you can do that. Yeah. I think this is Black's like game winner in a way. It can be, yeah. yeah. But there is situations with, I mean, if the tokens you're not going to get, but whatever. Yeah. It, it can be a dead card. Yeah. Um, But if, if you're controlling it somehow, I think this can be really powerful. Yeah. Uh, Virtues Maneuver, two and one black. For each player, choose friend or foe. I get the friend or foes all the time. You do. Because I always want to be your friend. No, I don't. You're my foe. No, we're each friends. Fr <laughs> we're cousins. They don't I have to guess. be friends. Is that a little different? <laughs> each friend returns a creature card from their graveyard to their hand. Each foe sacrifices a creature they control. That's pretty good for three. For three mana? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, getting back stuff from your graveyard. I like that. And making people to sacrifice. Pretty sweet. All right, I think that's it for black. Now we move Moving into on to red. red. Bonus round? Yep, let's do it. Bonus round. <laughs> it sounds like we're going to do a new segment. Is it bonus round time? We're doing more. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> uh, so it's one colorless and two red for a sorcery. Uh, until end of turn, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, that player copies it and may choose new targets for the copy. It's pretty crazy, but it's everybody. I can see that being nuts. Like, yeah. you cast it and just go, okay, who can do what? <laughs> this is going to be crazy. And like, I mean, Lightning Bolt turns into six damage for one red. Even though Lightning Bolt's not a really good commander card, you, you, you catch my drift. Uh, I think this is like you cast this and you hope your the per, the person that you've been friending this game you've been friending <laughs> just can go off a little bit. Yeah, they probably just counterspell it and then counterspell it again by copy. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Uh, next card we move into is another uh, friend or foe. It's Corvath's Fury. It's four and a red. For each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend discards all the cards from their hand and then draws that many cards plus one. That's kind of cool. Each foe deal or 
this actually Corvath's Fury deals damage to each foe equal to the number of cards in their hand. So that's that seems sweet. like it can deal a lot. So of damage. winds of change plus one. Yeah. Oh, uh, except wind of change is shuffling it in. So it's a disc. Isn't wind of change shuffling? It is shuffle. Yeah. So um, this one isn't my favorite of the friend and foe stuff, but it's pretty it can interesting. Deal a lot of damage. Yeah. I'm gonna put this in my you know uh, Sunspeaker deck. Oh, yeah, because you have that coming to you now. I got it coming you? all over the place. <laughs> uh, one thing, uh, so one Man, one that geez. I really kind of like is Cheering Fanatic, which is a 2-2 two -two for a colorless and a red as a goblin. Uh, whenever Cheering Fanatic attacks, choose a card name. Spells with the chosen name cost one less to cast that turn. So you can, like, reduce the casting cost of one spell because it's any spell. Yeah. And then you can reduce that cost. Only by problem one. is this is probably going to die after the, off that attack. Yeah, but it'd be great in like Goblin Tribal. Yeah, uh, I don't have any problem adding that in. And I feel like yeah, it it's a little weak, but it's pretty good early. You know, let's say you attack on turn three, and you're able to cast something at four mana. That that seems pretty powerful in red. Yeah, that's not too so, bad. I like it. Um, you don't have to. <laughs> Sure, Lowry. That's a good card. <laughs> uh, Najila, the Blade Blossom. This one's awesome. We get another five-color commander. It's red. It's two colors and one red, but there's five colors in its, uh, in its um, ability. Yeah. So legendary creature, human warrior, 3-2. This one Lowry's very excited I like this for. one a lot. He has a magic boner. Boop. Whenever a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token that is tapped and attacking. You may tap one of each color, untap all attacking creatures, they gain trample, lifelink, haste, until end of turn. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Activate this ability only during your combat. So if you're able to, you can do this multiple times. Multiple, multiple you times. You can do it multiple times. You can do it for somebody else attacking. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can give somebody else attacking with a warrior that attacking 1-1 because it's any warrior attacking, you may allow them to put a one-one attacking warrior into play. That is, and then like crazy. you're saying, like it's just untap it's just all not attacking like crazy creatures. Crazy casting cost either. It's three mana to come yeah. out, and it's I mean it's a three-two, but this could be a crazy. And it's five colors. You can use it so much with. There's this. a lot of warriors out there that you can play around with. Warriors, <laughs> we get it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> Larry's drinking. You're drunk. Uh, I got a beer. Let's pull that out. <laughs> right. I had to get it in there. You hadn't. Uh, you've. He's had a collection of beers adding, and I'm like, God, I haven't called you drunk in a long time. Not since like what episode two? Two or three. Yeah. Want to check that out? Oh, what is that? Dragons and yum yums. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's called dragons and yum yums. Oh wait, and then what's up? The flaming lies is that the oh that must be the brand flaming lips oh it's lips oh so that's, that's on e uh flaming lips are a band yep and so they collaborated with uh dogfish head to make this beer that's awesome uh do you have the bottle yeah, opener right here all right sorry for so this this is it is yum yums there you go then, drunk ass <laughs> you're, you're gonna be happy that i am look at that Oh, that looks really good. That's like a nice little amber color to it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Drunk. <laughs> Woo! Happy Memorial Day. Mmm. That is really good. I like it. Yeah, it's really tasty. It has a bit of like grapefruit flavoring in it. Mm hmm. And uh, I got another one if you want to call me a drunk later on, too. <laughs> Are you saying you just want to drink another beer? Is that yeah, I got it. It's a coffee ale. This one might be getting old, but. Nah, we'll get that one when you're drunk next time. Nah, I'm not going to bring it home. <laughs> uh, I think you're next. It is my turn. Uh, uh, is it the stolen one? I didn't really like that one. What? It's a rare, though. All right. Well, I don't... So, stolen stra strategy, uh, four colorless and a red enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. Until end of turn, you may cast non-land cards from among those exiled cards, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to That's cast those spells. That's pretty cool to me. I don't like it. You don't even have to do anything. You just have this out, and you get to take, you, or at least exile in from their library, and then you can play anything. It doesn't matter about the color. Damn. So? Just a 
it's it's fine for red card draw, I guess. But like, if if I could play the lands off of it, I'd be a lot. Yeah, happier. that'd be really cool. Um, just because like it allows you to get ahead. Or... Red has been doing uh, a lot of this, taking from everybody else's, which is pretty cool. I like that. Like, yeah, if you can add this with uh the sun the want my spec from sunbirds weeks. invocation yeah that one and then the dinosaur that does it when it attacks primal surge yeah, yeah. i like, like that one a lot more because you can play them for free yeah, yeah that's pretty i can sick. understand why you don't play this one for free but um yeah i, I just this one maybe you don't have if to do like anything the with top it. of your curve yeah where you're able to like you're you're getting lower on cards, and you're like, well, okay, I'm going to play this. Imagine and then having it gets all you a three of those ahead. out and just being like, one, two, three cards. Yeah! <laughs> uh, all right, That's dream scenario. All right, Bramble. Basically, you made me read this one, so I couldn't read so I Bramble read. Sovereign. <laughs> Bramble Garbage. Sovereign is two and two green. It is a dryad, or, yeah, the dryad. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay one and green. If you do... That creature's controller creates a token copy of that creature, and it's a four four. For a four, four four for four is pretty sick by itself. Totally mythic worthy just for that. Yeah, and it is a mythic. But that <laughs> copy ability is awesome. And, and, and again, you, you can, can do that with for anybody, anybody else. else as well. Yeah, so you can politics wise, or if somebody's really overpowering, you're like trying to get everybody's teams built up so we can kill this one person. Boom, you're just yeah. helping people out. And it's great in just a token deck where you're. Um, you know, if you have your parallel lives in there and you get yeah. two, like, yeah. you make a copy, token, get a token, second token. one, and <laughs> that feels good to me. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, moving into more green, what is our next one? Uh -oh. oh, I do generous. like Generous Patron. Yeah. Yeah, Generous Patron is a uh, two colorless and a green. That's a 1-4 elf, elf advisor. Uh, when Generous Patron enters the battlefield, support two, which is put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Uh, whenever you put one or more counters on a creature you don't control, draw a card. I've been. I, I want to sit down and like break down cards that give counters because it doesn't have to be one one counters. Um, it oh, can be man. any counter. That is pretty sick, actually. I didn't. So, I don't remember seeing this card in all the spoiler stuff. No, this one. Uh, I, I really later? like it. So you can come in. And, you know, no matter what, it's a 1-4 that can potentially draw you two cards. Or it can turn into a, a freaking 3-6. Yeah, this um, is going and not draw in. You any Man, cards. I need it has that. a lot of versatility. It's in that deck I've been making for six months. <laughs> My partner deck that I got to do at some point. <laughs> and so I think this is this is something pretty dang cool and yeah. interesting and unique. I really I, like I think it. this is something fun that could be... I actually wish this was a legend as well. So I wish you that. could actually build oh, yeah. around it That would a be crazy. bit more. That's probably why it isn't, because it'd be really crazy. <laughs> uh, then we get into this huge worm. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Grothama, all devouring, three and two green, and a legendary creature. Hey, this could be your commander. This could be. Other creatures have, whenever this creature attacks, you may have it fight Grothama. When Grothama leaves the battlefield, each player draws... Cards equal to the amount of damage dealt to Grothma this turn by sources they controlled. So the picture is pretty freaking crazy. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, so you're pretty much making your creatures attack it to kill it, but then you're going to be losing creatures is the problem. Or you can have... And so no matter what, everybody is going to be drawing eight cards to it if it dies. So each player each draws. Player draws oh, it is that. You're right. I was and thinking so, it was the player that did the damage. So whoever does the damage, they're going to lose a bunch of their creatures because it's 10 power, 10 8. Yeah. And then they will be... Uh, everybody draws at least 8 cards so they can replenish, but everybody else replenishes. Yeah, I misread that. I thought it was the person that got to draw the cards that killed it. No, like, no. It was like, it's that's everybody. the vanquisher. They're like, yeah, we killed it. We it's get all the sweet. cards. It's only 5 mana for yeah, a 10 8. 10, 8. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. So yeah. I, I think this is just like a fun card to like throw in. Yeah, not yeah. have as your necessarily your commander, but you could. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sick. <laughs> uh, last green. Purr's uh, Whim. Yeah. Oh, Pur you get a friend or foe. I do, finally. Um, Purr's Whim Good, is I can three colorless now. and green for a sorcery. Uh, for each player, choose friend or foe. Yes. We're all friends. Uh, each friend searches their library for a land card, puts it into the battlefield tapped. Then shuffles their library. Each foe sacrifices an artifact or enchantment they control. I like this friend or foe a lot. Yeah. I mean, the land search or sacking, you know, making Again, people sack if in you're, their own if stuff. If you're in a four-person game, it's each opponent sacrifices an artifact or enchantment, and you go put a basic land into play tapped. Yeah. I dig that one. That's one no. of my favorite. <laughs> it's a land card. Any land. 
Oh, it is. Yeah. It's not just a basic. Yeah. <laughs> I, am, no! I am wrong. <laughs> this, so it's four mana to just go get, go a gay and get any cradle. land. And, gay as cradle? Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 he went from the highest highs down to the lowest lows. You're depressing <laughs> to be around sometimes. I need another beer. <laughs> uh, now we move into the multicolors. We got Archon of Valor's Reach, four green and white. It is a creature. Uh, Archon, flying, vigilance, trample, five, six. When it enters the battlefield, choose artifact, enchantment, instant sorcery, or planeswalker. Players can't cast spells of the chosen type. So you just lock down something whatever you don't want people to be casting. Yeah, and I and you just don't play those cards in your deck. You know what you want to use with it. Yep. Um next card, you want to get into last one standing. Yeah, I like that one too. It's interesting. Heck yeah. Oh man. The the picture on it is really cool cuz it just has a, like a little it's like know, a goblin, goblin with huge ears. <laughs> yeah, a goblin mouse. That's a very good description on uh, top of a bunch of bodies. Last one standing, uh colorless, a black and a red. Choose a creature at random, then destroy the rest. That That's seems it. really cool. <laughs> uh, so I, I like the flavor the text flavor, on this one yeah. too. Yeah, some train all their lives for a shot at the title. Some just get really, really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that card a lot. That one's pretty sweet. Uh, next one, artifact Sentinel Tower, four colorless. Mm. Whenever an instant or a sorcery is cast during your turn, Sentinel Tower deals damage to target equal any target equal to one plus the number of instant and sorcery spells cast before that spell so that's pretty sweet it's, and it's, it's kind of like a damaged version of aetherflux reservoir yeah it totally is um but just doesn't have that sports, extra text sports. at the bottom yeah uh so it's kind of cool uh i think i think if you're in a spell singer deck this can do a lot of damage yeah uh another one victory chimes like which is an one. artifact three colorless uh you can untap victory chimes during each other player's untap step and then just taps uh player of your choice adds one colorless mana um, I know you like this one a lot. I'm I just okay like I like it. that it just un, you don't it just untaps. Uh, you, if you can plan for it, yeah, I think it'd be all right. So that does it for, and then you have all the the rare lands, the five um, buddy lands with these, right? They're buddies, the buddy buddies. And the way I've been hearing, some people have been saying it's uh, what is it? Company lands? No, crowd lands. Crowd lands. Breeze a oh, crowd. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I, I'm going to use that too. Uh, so then the rest are just notable reprints. We have, uh, should we just go through it? What do we have for white? We, we have Core that. Spirit Dancer and Land Tax are. Yeah, and they're both. Core Spirit Dancer is great in your Enchantress type style decks. Like, finally reprinting Land Tax. That card is amaze balls. Yeah, and... Land Tax deserves it. It's a mythic, one white, and then it can go search for ba like three basic lands at the beginning of your upkeep. As if long somebody, as somebody has, has more, more lands land than, than you, you that's, that's it's really good. Is that it for white? I think that's it for the uh, notable I so, ones. Yeah. And then we get into blue. Was there any notable ones for blue? Yeah, Mystic Confluence was a really good reprint. If you can get your hands on that, it's like ten bucks right now. Uh, but that was printed in a commander set, and it's uh, you can choose three uh, out of these modular spells, which is counter target spell unless controller pays three, counter or return target creature to its owner hand or draw a card. So you can do you any can combination of those, three. or you can do them all. One, yeah, one, one a piece, yeah. or just bounce three creatures or draw three cards. It's a solid, solid card. Uh, there's two more I actually wanted to make note of in this. Was mm -hmm. I like Tights Bound Tyrant as well. Um, actually, it was, it was like a $9 card or whatever before the print. But that's five and three. This card is almost you, oppressive. Yeah, it, whenever you cast a spell, return target permanent to owner's hand. And it's a 5-5 five, five flying gin. And then the other one is True Name Nemesis. Well, the thing about Tides Boat Tyrant is that you can bounce lands, yeah. which is pretty so rare. So it's any permanent, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you got True Name Nemesis, finally another reprint with that one. Yep. Um, I like Sower of Temptation. Yeah, I was going to say that one's a pretty decent one as which well. Which is a 2-2 two -two flyer for four. When it comes into play, you steal a creature. Uh, that... It's kind of like a true name nemesis too. It you, it's a two blue and one. This one's used in legacy a lot. Legacy, right? This is the, yeah. The legacy. Whites are getting big. Uh, it's a three one. You choose a player and that player you have protection from that player. That it has you can't that player can't target this creature. So you just get through everything. Yeah. Uh, then we get into black, black. You have diabolic intent, which is a a, bl a colorless and a black sorcery. 
Uh, as an additional cost to cast it, sacrifice a creature. Search your library for a card and put that card in your hand and then shuffle your library. So and Then we have Nurkana Revenant, which we finally have a reprint with that one. Mm-hmm. Um, four and two black vampire shade. You double all your swamp. They produce an additional swamp. And then you can tap one to give it one plus one and so forth. Four. That's a sweet card because it was like 40? I don't think it was that 30? much. But it was 20, like at 30? least 25, 30. Yeah. So that one's a good reprint. Is that it for our black? Yeah. Red. Yeah, red. Yeah, we move like into red. Nothing. <laughs> red. Always nothing. Red. Golly, just, red. Well, you got I, chain lightning again, but that just got reprinted. Wars toll is kind of cool, and magmatic force is kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. Really, oh, if we get into green, green is where the big guy. Doubling season is back. We we talked about this during our core cards for commander in green. And Here's your chance to pick it up at a relatively cheap. But yeah, it's I, I can't see it getting. You know, it, it'll 25. be somewhere in between twenty and thirty dollars. Yeah, I think so. That's... But it'll. This is the time to get it. It hasn't been reprinted in about five years. Um, and sweet art. I like yeah, this art. Cool new stuff. It's completely different. Um, Greater good is also reprinted in this yeah. for green. That sacrifice creature draws many cards as its power, uh, and then you discard three cards. I talked about this uh, a couple of times on our podcast in the past at this point. Yep. And then we got Seedborn Muse that got reprinted as well. This That's is a huge. part of our green. This is a part of our core cards for yeah. commander stuff is being reprinted. It untaps here. all your stuff during other players' turns. It's amazing. And then Vigor, we also made, or Vigor, we Vigor. made that in our green yeah. core cards for commander. They, they must have reprinted. They, 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 they listened to our podcast. Listen to our podcast yeah. <laughs> we're, like, we're, pretty, right. we're pretty dang special <laughs> and i think that's it right we move into the, no no there was some other um i thought it was artifacts we had to deal with that were yeah, some there pretty were, good artifacts definitely. so you got mind's eye which is five yeah, mana and then one. whenever an opponent draws a card you can pay one and then you get to draw a card this is a solid card uh go out and we'll, we'll talk about this in the past episodes but this is one of them that you'll want to go out and get when it's cheaper in yep. about four, five, six weeks. And then the lattice is uh, reprinted in this Michael too. Synth yeah. lattice. Six makes all are all permanents are artifacts in addition to their other types. All cards that aren't in the battlefield are also colorless. Players may spend mana as though they were of any color. So that's a good reprint there as well. So I think that does it for everything. So they got some great cards in this set. Great new stuff. This is going to be a freaking sweet set. I've seen a lot of people excited about this one too. I think they've done two sets really well with Dominaria and then Battle Bond right in a row. Well, we're going to be getting a box of this. Yeah, we'll we'll do dueling boxes boxes. out of this. Uh, Hopefully I can at least compete this time. (laughs) Because I've been demolished oh, twice it's in a been row. Fun just dragging you good, through the dirt there. Good fun. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> All right, let's move into Smith Specs of the Week. Recordable. I like yeah. that one. Uh, why don't we start? Oh, yeah, I was going to start with the Smith Specs. So, part of what, uh, with everything going off this week, uh, I kind of went with the, the flip coin because we actually, since. We have our first like good commanders that can deal with flipping coins and actually using that ability. Um, I've actually had, like I talked about earlier, cards that have gone off because of that. So these are the cards that haven't made the spike yet, but that are getting bought up. Uh, so I'll start off with Fighting Chance, and this is from Exodus. It is one red. For each blocking creature, flip a coin. If you win, that creature deals no combat damage this turn. It's an instant, so you don't necessarily need to do this for your stuff. Uh, so if you're playing one card, if you can get a hold of it still, it's at 15 16 bucks just the regulars, but that's, um, what was it, Chance Encounter. And that is if you get 10 luck counters on it. You, every time you flip a coin, every time you win, you get a luck counter. If you get 10 of them... You win the game at the beginning of your upkeep. This you could play after somebody's attacking somebody else right before your turn and potentially win the game with that because it's a nice little instant. It's a rare, and you can get this for probably, I think, I picked up a, a few of them for around 25 cents. So uh, there is no foils of this one, so not going for the foils. Um, yeah, so Lowry, yours. So Adam 
decided to kind of focus on the coin flipping since that was kind of going off. And um, I was thinking that warriors were another kind of sub theme in this that could potentially take off because I don't know if there's specifically a really good warrior commander out there, but now they have printed a good one with Najila, the Bly Blossom, <laughs> Blossom with, yeah, it's five colors. So you can go around and pick a bunch of stuff. Uh, so that's the reasoning behind my picks today. Um, but uh, first one that I want to talk about is Secure the Waste, which is from Cons of Tarkir. Uh, it's a white and an X, and it's instant speed, and then X is you get to put that many 1-1 one, one warrior tokens into the battlefield. Um, I like this card just in general. Like yeah, it's it's I a really it. good card in general. So this this should work really well in your warrior's deck, and then your uh, I think you can I think you can reasonably buy the foil, uh, which is around nine dollars. You can buy the uh, the non foil, which is about two fifty three bucks. I think they're all good buys at this point because there's potential. F- I, w- I was noticing on like Card Kingdom and uh, TCG Player, the cards were starting to get sca- scarcer and scarcer. So hopefully, hopefully they're not bought out by the time you listen to this. Yeah, no, I think that's a, a good buy. Either one with that, they haven't spiked yet, but yeah, the inventory is being bought up at the yeah. moment. And the nice thing about that is it's instant too, so you can do that right before your turn, and it can be pretty crazy with your commander going. going I mean, off. just I, I I can see it just going like, uh, well, what? You just it's good early game, it's good late game. Yeah. Uh, it's it's always going to be good. You do it at the end of a turn, and then you can just play Najila, uh, attack for you know with six warriors, put six more out, and put a ton of power and pressure on everybody. Yeah. Uh, so my next one, continuing with the flipping coin, is... Oh, man, it's in foil, so I can't read it as well. But it's Risky Move. Uh, and actually, I know this offhand, so I can just summarize it. But it's three and three red. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, they gain control of Risky Move. And what they do when they gain control of it is they choose one of their creatures, and they choose an opponent. They flip a coin... If they win, they keep their creature. If they lose, that opponent gains control of their creature. So the thing with the commanders that I'm peeing all over, uh, anytime that any player flips a coin and wins, they get their ability to trigger. So if I have my drawing one out, you know, I get to draw a card. Have the other guy out, it's a 6-6 for that turn. So, And the other thing is this causes some chaos. So you're going to be potentially giving away. Of course, you get to choose the creatures. Flipping coins is always going to be chaos. Yeah, so So I'm going to make it as chaotic as possible. (laughs) But, yeah, this one I'd go for the foils. The foils are only – you can get them for around a buck right now. But when I was looking – because I was trying to find the cards before they all got bought up uh, to make sure I had it for the deck that I was going to build, this inventory was pretty low – for the foils especially so uh, you could definitely go for the regulars but the foils regulars are 50 cents foils are only a buck so you could probably get you know for double that and then these are probably going to skyrocket yeah like i the think other i things. think you're going to have you got a lot of uh flipping coins there yeah and i think it's going to be really good in that deck all right lowry next one uh i was thinking lovisa cold eyes which was originally printed in uh cold snap and then it just actually was reprinted in a uh, dual deck version uh, mine versus might i think that was last year um but it uh it gives berserkers warriors and plus two plus two in haste and so she's pretty sweet and you know uh, barbarians and barbarians and i so, didn't say berserkers though it oh. says each creature that's a barbarian a warrior oh yeah you're right berserker, berserker yeah. okay that didn't catch Gets that plus first. two plus two yep. in haste and so if you're attacking with a bunch of warriors they all instead of one ones with najila it's the three threes, which is a lot more power and pressure on the board. And I've seen that these are starting to get bought up a little bit. It's really cheap. I think they're all like foils, the promo foil for the uh, deck. They're I think they're all under like a buck fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. So they're they're worth a buy. You could go to the the cold snap ones are a little more expensive. They're five bucks. Five but bucks. You okay. could go with the like you said the the mine versus might deck and dual it's deck foil under a buck. Yeah. for those. And it's better art. Yeah, I it? like the art on that a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I might have to actually pick up a couple of those guys. Um, and then my last one, continuing with the coins again, is Impulsive Maneuvers. This is two and two red. It's an enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks, flip a coin. So th- there's kind of a – it could hurt you, but this is pretty interesting because 
whenever any creature attacks, so it's not just you flip it once. So for how many creatures are attacking, you're flipping a coin. If you win, the creature deals double damage. <laughs> if you lose, that creature deals no damage that turn. So if you play this and then people are like, well, I'm going to F you over, <laughs> they can just come out at you. You're still flipping coins, so you may still be drawing and all that stuff, and your commander may be doubling, but you could be in a world of trouble. So I, I, I got to figure out how I want to use this. If I, I was thinking of a way of doing is more goading people to make them all attack each other yeah, yeah. or propaganda so one. that I'm not getting attacked as easily. So, well, that's there's kind of the uh, idea. Oh, there's illusionist gambit, uh, from commander sets. I believe it's two blue, two colorless, uh, all creatures that are attacking you are removed from combat and then attack another opponent. Oh, that yeah. would like double the amount of flips because you they flip off the attack trigger and then you're like, now you're gonna attack somebody else and then attack <laughs> again and flip more. Yeah, that would be that'd be nuts. What's that one again, Lowry? No, I'm just kidding. Nuts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Illusionist Gambit, I believe it was called. I think I have that one. Yeah, yeah I might no, have to, you should. I might have to put that in here. So yeah, that's. Oh, oh I didn't say the price on that. Um, it's sitting at about a buck. So it's the same thing as a buck fifty. You can pick these up for for the foils, the regulars again. Are and 50 it's cents. an older card yeah, too, so it has potential to just kind of go up because there's not reprints. They don't really reprint flip cards anyway, or it, flip coin cards. It's interesting because I feel like with the sapper lanes people were just waiting for a commander that would be good for sapper lanes and then when it happened you know they went crazy i think people have been wanting a flip coin deck just for shits and giggles yeah and i think that's kind of taking off you know with a few cards with uh cracks Kr- 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 thumb. thumb. that one went from a buck 50 to ten dollars right now yeah. so and I, I can't wait until they make a dice one that's yeah. heavy, and then you can get Clark's other thumb Yeah, the other going. thumb from Unstable. <laughs> uh, there's actually some good flip coin stuff from Unstable and all that, and I was like, oh, I really want to use that in this deck, but I'm not going to. But You can, but I'll just DQ you. <laughs> all right, Larry, your last uh, This one's going to be another cheap one. I don't think there's... Uh, so Raider Spoils, uh, which is another cons uh, card, but it's three colorless black for an enchantment. Uh, warriors you control get plus one plus zero, oh, and then whenever a warrior you control deals damage, you can pay one life and draw a card for each creature that deals the damage. Oh, this was the card. So when we were going this through is our very spoilers, yeah, because I was the like, Laura, card. you talked about this card. And I was like, oh no, this is yeah. It was so the one that I thought was a common and didn't even read. Yeah, that's this what. Is... That's very similar card. So you kind of get double duty there. You're getting uh, beer burps on yeah, there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's really tasty though. Burp. <laughs> um and so you can edit that out right? yeah, yeah well then i made a comment to it so now i can't edit you it gotta out. edit should... out like a whole minute here <laughs> yeah, at this point just... i don't know why you do all right that. we're gonna start now no, I'm just you mean like right now <laughs> okay uh and so it's it's a lot of card draw that you can be getting through with oh, now i gotta edit your cracky voice yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm out of beer. I mean, yeah. Because <laughs> I've definitely We're gone classy. through puberty. <laughs> I'm telling you that. Hairy man. Uh, so, yeah. These, and they're cheap. They're these 40 foil, cent foils. Yeah, 40 cent foils. It, and it's from Cons of Takir. So it's, it's pretty recent-ish. So you can probably pick these up pretty yeah, good. Yeah. They're easy to find. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a solid. It's a lot of drawing if if need be. And I think Warriors are going to end up being a, like a really low to the ground curve aggro deck. Yeah. And so I, I think this could be really good in that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, overall, I think good specs. I think these are specs that you would want to pick up right away because yeah, yeah. these are going to go and then you just sell them right away. You dump them as soon as the spike happens, the hype and all that lasts for a couple months and then they'll, they'll come back down again. So and if you're if, looking if you, to build these decks, understand that these will go down yeah in a certain amount of time once the hype kind of dies yeah down, so if but... you weren't able to pick up your you know river kelpie in time or yeah it'll, it'll go down or yeah yeah any of this stuff if you missed out on the boat you can wait on it it'll come down it might have a different plateau though it might not be as cheap as it used to be because now people are using it in a deck yeah yeah don't expect it to go back to where it was no but it's going to be cheaper than the spike yep exactly so get rid of it if it spikes use it if it doesn't yep uh i think that does it for this episode uh that's a pretty good episode Laura. there was a lot of I like that we, yeah we ran through a bunch of spoilers right there we hope you uh 
are kind of excited for Battle Bond oh, as well. Man. I, this is going to be awesome. I love the partner stuff. I think there's a lot of great stuff for Commander here. Yeah. I think it's worth buying. It. I mean, even even if we weren't doing dueling decks, I, I think it'd still be worth buying a box. The lands are... I, I don't even know where those are going to settle at, but those are just... That's like built for Commander. Yeah. I the mean, only thing they're, they're awesome. missing is having the basic land parts in there. If they would have had that, oh... Oh, Those the, suckers yeah. would have been freaking expensive. If you could go fetch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like. Yeah. Um, That'd be yeah, pretty sweet. This is a $40, $50 card right away. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably settle around, I don't know, 10, 8. I 10. think they started out at 10. I, I was seeing them starting to dip. I think it just depends on how much people open. Open this. I yeah. think there's a lot of excitement around this, so I think there can be a lot of uh, packs opened. Yeah. Uh, it probably just depends on how easy you're able to find it. Yeah. Like if they're going to open it up over at. Uh, if if it's going to be sold at Target and Walmart, there's going to be a ton of products I think it is going to be sold there. I'm pretty so. sure. So, yeah, that does it for this episode. Um, you guys can catch us on Twitter at Commander Smiths. And Shoot us can... song ideas. We have um, a song idea we might be working with. We got, we got to be work. We got to work on it a little bit. It's, yeah. it's not well known or anything, but or I guess we didn't know it. Yeah. Uh, it could be it's well a known. sweet song. I mean, we it's, just have to work on it. It's... Adam only knows Foo Fighters songs. Yeah. And then <laughs> that's I, it. I can only do so much. So we don't cover. You only like, know your master P. Ago. That's all you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm more like Jay-Z. And Nas <laughs> at this point. Um, you but... changed over to that? <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> Has to have diamonds on the cover. All right. Uh, you can also shoot us an email where if you want us to specifically sing a song like one of us, just put in the email, whoever's name, because we're both checking yeah, it. We, we both did see the Twitter uh, suggestion. So and, so and we've both listened to it. So we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. I think. Yeah. We're working on we it. We got to work on it. <laughs> we but thank you time. so much for the suggestion. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but then, like I said, if you do it on, if you send us an email, just put it in their name uh, so we know which one to read yep. or which one of us is going to do it. And then we can do that as there. Um, I didn't say it. Commandersmiths at gmail.com. And then what's our last place they can find us right now? YouTube. The YouTube. Is that what you wanted yep. me to say? Okay. Yep. It's a hand gesture. <laughs> Go ahead, Larry. You do the next one. I don't know. You stole my <laughs> Gmail part. That's the one that I do. <laughs> <laughs> you're all about the gmail yeah how about that gmail uh and then yeah all like the subscribe gmail, share whatever uh you could do the more people we get out there the better we keep getting more and more people each week yeah we really sweet. appreciate you listening and uh we hope that you keep enjoying uh what we're doing and hopefully this was echo free we'll find out in a couple minutes <laughs> we will find out <laughs> all right until now i don't know what i was gonna say there until thanks next for listening time. bye <laughs> it's good to say until until next time, we'll catch you later. Why are you pointing? I don't know. <laughs> to me. Finger That's guns. Weird. <laughs> I have to be here. Catch you later, Lowry. All right. See ya. Bye.